Hi, I'm Evangelist Paul Tripp and President of Global Cry Ministries. I come to you today with a very urgent message that I want to extend to all of the Christians around the great country of the United States of America. I believe that America stands at the crossroads of utter destruction or deliverance. I believe that America is teetering on the precipice of national collapse. And uh, I've come to you today to urge us in this matter of intercessory prayer and a cry for the soul of America. The question that I pose today is, will we surrender this nation to the grip of satanic power or will we resist the spiritual forces and resist the principalities and persons through spiritual intercession will we resist these powers that seek to bring about the moral decline and the moral degradation of this nation now god has given us a very small window to lament and cry out to him uh, that he would spare this nation from the snare of the devil joel in Joel, that great prophet, in, in chapter 2 and verse number 17, Je Joel would cry out unto the men of God. He would say, let the priests, let the priest uh, weep between the porch and the altar. Now, God has given us two great blessings. The two great blessings that God has given us are two knees to bow down before him and pray and intercede with effectual fervent prayer. A cry for the soul of America. If you're burdened about the future of America, if you're burdened about the potential ruin of freedom and liberty, if you're burdened concerning uh, the culture of death and genocide that has become so pervasive in our society, if you're burdened about the moral collapse of this nation, if you're burdened about uh, the reversal of God's de defined gender roles and, and God's defined order in this nation, then will you stand with me in intercessory prayer for the soul of America? I'm crying out to God that he would awaken the moral conscience of America and America not through power and might, but by his spirit, would see that we are standing at the crossroads of utter destruction. Now the Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The Bible says the wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. I'm afraid that America has forgotten God and all nations that ever forgot God God forgot them. My friends, it is my prayer that you would join together with me in a cry for the soul of America. Will you join me in fasting and praying for the soul of America? Will our churches scattered all across the southeast, scattered all across the upper regions of uh, the New England states and all the way to the west, Will our churches join together and fast and pray for the soul of America? There are three fasts that I beg of you to participate in for the soul of America. Will you join me in fasting? Uh, the first fast, again, I said there's three fasts that I, I want you to, to participate in, to consider participating in. A prayerful fast for the soul of America. The first fast is a 21-day fast from food. A 21-day fast from food. No food for 21 days. Uh, beginning on October the 13th and ending on November the 5th. A cry for the soul of America. We must repent of our own sins during this fast. And then we must fast and pray that God would intervene, that God would supernaturally step in 
into this natural world that he that is in eternity would uh, engage in this temporal world that he would uh, place his hand of providence into the affairs of men and that he would change the course of this nation in human history through providential intervention now listen second fast is a seven day fast that I'm asking if you can't do the 21 day fast do the seven day fast Beginning on October the 29th and ending on November the 5th. Beginning on October the 29th and ending on November the 5th. Again, we are repenting of our own sins and we're fasting and praying for the soul of America that God would awaken the moral conscience of America and that America would go in the right direction and repent of her sins and, and cry out unto God and be saved. And the third fast that I'm asking of you to participate in, if you cannot participate in the 21 day fast or the seven day fast, the last one is a three day fast. All of them fast from food beginning on November the 2nd and ending on November the 5th at 12 midnight. All of these fasts end on November the 5th at 12 midnight. And so I'm asking you to join with me. Let's covenant together for the soul of America. Remember, we're repenting of our own sins and we're fasting and praying and crying out unto God that he would awaken this nation to Jesus Christ, that this nation would repent of her heinous sins and atrocities that she is committing at the present moment and that will most likely and most certainly destroy her future. And the inevitable collapse of this nation is right beyond the horizon of time. Listen now, Joel chapter 1 and verse 14. He, Joel got a burden for his nation. God raised up these men to cry into the ear of the nation. And so that the nation would hear and turn from their wicked ways and be spared from the imminent wrath of a divine God. Joel chapter 1 and verse 14. He says, sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord and cry and cry unto the Lord. I'm begging of you. And I beseech you, brethren, as the Apostle Paul would often say, let us join together and cry for the soul of America.